everyone! Can you believe how many people showed up for my birthday? It's like I'm the queen of this world! Yes, my darling. You are absolutely glowing tonight. Your parents must be so proud of you. Obviously. I mean, who wouldn't be proud of me? That dress is amazing, Yasmin. You've got such a great style. Just like your mom. Thanks. Mom always says I inherited her taste. Excuse me, would anyone like another drink? Oh, Waverly, right? You're Yasmin's sister, aren't you? You must be so proud of her! Yes, proud, very proud! Waverly, don't just stand there! Serve the drinks! And try not to mess up for once! Right away, Yasmin! Yasmin, honey, you're going to be even bigger than your parents! You're a superstar in the making! Obviously! I was born for this! Can we get a picture with you, Yasmin? You're like famous famous! Of course! Anything for my fans! <sighs> yep, I'll just be over here, invisible as usual. Hey there, gorgeous. Can I get your number along with this drink? Just the drink, thanks. Wavery? Sweetheart. Don't forget to smile. You're representing the family tonight. Yes, Dad, I won't forget. Waverly, dear, why don't you come join me here for a bit? Um, sure, Mom. What is it? I saw you talking to one of the famous celebrities here. What were you thinking? Do you think you can lure him with your beauty? What? Why would you say that, Mom? I'd never do that! Don't you even think about dating one of the boys here. They are not worthy of you. Do you hear me? Sure thing, Mom. Mom! Dad! Desmond? Yes, Sweetheart? What's wrong? What's wrong? Everything's wrong! This party place is so tiny and ugly! I need a bigger one! Like, now! But, Yasmin, yes, this is the biggest venue we could book for you. It's already huge. Well, it's not huge enough! I deserve better than this! Yasmin, yes, honey. We've spent months planning this party. It's the best we could do. I don't care! I want a bigger venue and I want it now! I won't settle for anything less than perfect! Yasmin, please calm down. We've done everything we can to make this party special for you. Special? This is a disaster! How can I have a fabulous party in this dump? Yasmin, that's enough. We tried to reason with you, but yelling at us won't solve anything. Well, what else am I supposed to do? You're my parents! You're supposed to give me what I want! <sighs> Yasmin, we love you, but we can't just snap our fingers and make a bigger venue up here. We've already spent a lot of money on this party. Money isn't an issue! I want a bigger venue, and I want it now! That's enough, Yasmin. We're not going to argue this anymore. This party place is what you have. You'll have to make the best of it. Nah, fine! If you won't help me, then I'll do it myself! I'll find a bigger venue and have the most amazing party without you! Yasmin, yelling won't solve anything. But if it means that much to you... What? We'll find a bigger venue. Just stop yelling, please. <laughs> That's more like it. I knew you'd see things my way. Yasmin... Are you sure this is the right thing to do? Of course it is! Now, let's get to work of finding a venue worthy of me. Alright. Let's start looking. But remember, Yasmin, happiness isn't about the size of the venue. Whatever, Dad. Just make sure it's big and beautiful. That's all that matters. <sighs> we'll do our best, Yasmin. We always do. Mom, this place is incredible! Can we buy everything? Almost everything, darling. Today, you can treat yourself to whatever your heart desires. <laughs> yes! I've been waiting for this day forever! Uh, lucky Yasmin, getting everything she wants as usual. Waverly, dear, could you hold these bags for us? Sure, Mom. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Mom! Look at this dress! It's perfect for my farewell party! It's stunning, Yasmin. Get it in every color. You got it, Mom! Must be nice to have Mom's credit card. Waverly, 
Please try to be supportive. Sorry, Mom. I'll keep my comments to myself. How do I look, Mom? Oh, Yasmin, you look like a princess. Oh? <laughs> then I'll take it. More like a spoiled princess. Waverly, remember what we talked about. <sighs> right, sorry. So, did you get all the stuff you needed, sweetheart? Heck yeah! I'm sorry, ma'am, but it seems your card has been declined. Oh, that's strange. Could you try again, please? I'm sorry, ma'am. It appears there's an issue with your card. Oh, dear. Let me try another card. <sighs> there we go. Thank you. Mom! You can't use my card for this! Waverly, sweetheart. It's just this once. We'll sort out the issue with my card later. No, Mom! You always do this! You ignore me and you use my money whenever it's convenient for you! Waverly, chill out! Mom said she'll fix it later! No, Yasmin! This isn't fair! I work hard for my money and you just use it like it's nothing! Waverly, please understand. No, Mom! I won't stand for this anymore. You always prioritize Yasmin over me, and it's not right. Waverly, drop the act. We can talk about it at home. Now let's go. <laughs> this isn't fair. You cling to your papers and pens, wait until you like me again. Waverly, there you are. I need to talk to you. Can't it wait, Yasmin? I'm in the middle of something important. But this is important too. I need your help. <sighs> Fine. What is it? I want to build my own mansion, Waverly. A huge, glamorous mansion just for me. But I need money to make it happen. You want to build a mansion? Mm-hmm. And I thought you could help me out. You have plenty of money, right? No, Yasmin. I work hard for my money. And I have my own dreams to pursue. Aw, please, Waverly. Just a little bit of your money. You won't even miss it. No, Yasmin. I won't enable your extravagant lifestyle. If you want money, ask mom and dad. Mm, but I already did. And they said no. I'm sorry, Yasmin, but I can't help you. You'll have to find another way to fund your mansion. Please, Waverly! I'll do anything! I'm sorry, Yasmin. I have work to do. Figure it out yourself. <laughs> if Waverly won't give me the money for my mansion, I'll just have to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. That should do it. Hello, this is Yasmin. I need you to make some arrangements for me. I want the mansion ready for my occupancy as soon as possible. This is just the beginning. Soon, everyone will see that I am the true queen of this household. <laughs> Mom, Dad, you need to come quick. It's Yasmin. Wavery, what's wrong? What happened to Yasmin? It's not Yasmin, it's me. Sh sh she took all the money from my bank account. What do you mean she took all of your money? I mean, she logged into my online banking and transferred everything to her account. Thousands of dollars, Mom, gone. That's, that's impossible. Yasmin wouldn't do something like that. What she? I'm telling you, Dad, she did! You need to check her account right now! All right, Waverly, calm down. We'll look into this right away. Hello. Who is this? What? How come she didn't tell me about it? <sighs> okay. I'll call her here soon. That was Yasmin's friend. She says Yasmin is on vacation and won't be back for another week. What? Waverly, we can't jump to conclusions. We'll talk to Yasmin when she gets back and sort this out. But Mom, she stole from me! She needs to be held accountable! I know, Waverly. We'll handle this. I promise. But for now, let's try to stay calm and wait until Yasmin comes back. We'll get to the bottom of this together. Mom, Dad, you need to understand! This isn't just about the money Yasmin took from me, it's bigger than that! We're in serious trouble! What do you mean, Waverly? What trouble? 
We're bankrupt, Mom. We've been living beyond our means for years, and now it's caught up with us. What? <laughs> that... That it can't be true, Avery. We... We've always been careful with our finances. I'm sorry, Dad, but it is. We've been spending for more than we've been earning. And now we're drowning in debt. But how? How could we have let this happen? It doesn't matter how it happened. What matters is that we need to face reality now. We can't keep living in denial and enabling Yasmin's reckless behavior. From now on, we need to say no to Yasmin's demands. We can't afford to indulge her anymore. We'd be a laughing stock if people found out about this. Our reputation will be ruined. It's time to start making responsible decisions for our family's future. But, but Yasmin is our daughter. How can we turn her away? I know it won't be easy, Mom, but it's the only way forward. We need to prioritize our family's financial stability above everything else. Avery's right. Can't keep ignoring the truth. We have to take control of our finances before it's too late. You're right, Wavery. We're gonna be careful. We can sell a few extra stuff so we can save a little money. Thanks, sweetheart. Of course, Dad. We're a family, remember? Huh? Oh my god! Where are my cars? What is this? Mom! Dad! Where are you? What happened to my cars? Where are they? Mom and Dad aren't home right now. Yes, what's up with you? Why are you shouting? Waverly, what did you do with my car? I didn't do anything, Yasmin. Don't lie to me. You're the only one who could have taken them. Yasmin, I didn't touch your cars. Maybe they were repossessed because of our financial situation. Our financial situation? What are you talking about? Mom and Dad told me everything. We're bankrupt, Yasmin. We can't afford to keep living like we have been. No, that can't be true. I refuse to believe it. I can't be poor. No way. It is true, Yasmin. We have to face reality and start making responsible decisions. Responsible decisions? You're the reason we're in this mess. You've always been jealous of me. That's not true, Yasmin. I did what I had to to save our family from ruin. I don't care. I want my cars back. And I want them now! I'm sorry, Yasmin, but they're gone. We have to focus on finding a way out of this mess together. I don't want to hear it! You're just trying to bring me down like always! But you better hear me when I say this! I'm not going to back up! I'm going to take my revenge on you! What you should do is get a decent job and help your own family survive. Can't you be a little mature for a second? No! Job is for losers! Ugh, I'm out of here! She'll never realize. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we have the lovely Yasmin joining us. Yasmin, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Christina. I'm excited to be here. Now, Yasmin, you're known for your glamorous lifestyle and fabulous fashion sense. But today, we want to get to know the real you. Tell us. What's life really like for Yasmin behind the scenes? Well, Christina, life hasn't always been easy for me. In fact, I have some heartbreaking news to share with everyone today. Oh my, what is it, Yasmin? My family has been facing financial difficulties. We're on the brink of bankruptcy. I'm so sorry to hear that, Yasmin. How are you coping with such a challenging situation? It's been... Really tough, Christina, but I'm trying to stay strong for my family. We're all in this together. Ladies and gentlemen, Yasmin and her family need our support now more than ever. If you'd like to help them through this difficult time, please consider donating to their cause. Please, if you can spare anything at all, it would mean the world to us. We just want to keep our family afloat during this challenging time. You heard her, folks. Let's rally together and show Yasmin and her family the love and support they deserve. Please, if you can spare anything at all, it would mean the world to us. We just want to keep our family afloat during this challenging time. <laughs> Perfect! I can earn billions with these kinds of donations! Dad, Waverly, what are you doing here? We need to talk, Yasmin. 
now. Can't it wait? I just had the most incredible- We saw your little performance on TV, Yasmin. We know what you did. I don't know what you're talking about, Waverly. Don't play dumb with us, Yasmin. You begged for donations on national television, exploiting our family's financial troubles for your own gain. I was just trying to help. We need the money, Dad. You need the money, Yasmin. You're the one who's been living beyond our means, draining our family's finances with your extravagant lifestyle. That's not fair, Waverly. I'm just trying to live my life. Your life shouldn't come at the expense of our family's well-being, Yasmin. We're in this together, whether you like it or not. Well, maybe if you and Waverly were more successful, we wouldn't be in this mess. Please, everyone, let's calm down. This isn't helping. What even is going on here? Enough, Yasmin. I've had enough with your selfishness and reckless behavior. You're no longer welcome in this house. Wh what? That's right, Yasmin. You've caused enough damage already. You can't do this to me, Dad! This is my home, too! Not anymore, Yasmin. Back your bags and leave. Brandon, please. She's our daughter. We can't just- She needs to learn the consequences of her actions, Arya. I won't let her destroy our family any further. Nah! Fine! I'll leave! But don't expect me to ever forgive you for this! Nah! Don't regret it! Believe the deals we're getting today? It's like every store is practically begging us to take their entire inventory. <laughs> I know, right? It's like we're queens of the shopping world. Yes! <laughs> yes, let's go. I need to add to my collection. <gasps> Miranda, look at this dress. It's absolutely divine. I have to have it. <gasps> oh my god. Gosh, Yasmin, you look like a goddess in that. <laughs> Who needs a budget when you have a fabulous taste like mine? Of course. Yasmin, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's really you. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, well, hello there. It's always nice to meet a fan. What can I do for you? What is this, Yasmin? Are you seriously using the donations people gave you to fund your shopping spree? Huh? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. These... These are just, uh... I can't believe this. I thought you were better than this, Yasmin. I thought you actually cared about your fans. You know what? I'm going to tell everyone about your dirty little secret. Wait, please! You don't understand! Yasmin, what just happened? Why was he so angry? He thinks... He thinks I'm using the donation money for shopping. But I'm not, I swear! Oh no, I'm going to be in a severe danger now! I can't believe it's come to this. Our home. Our memories. It's hard to believe we're saying goodbye. I can't bear seeing another family live in our home. I know, darling. We have to face reality. We can't afford to keep it any longer. We'll get through this, Mom and Dad. Together. We always have. You're right, dear. We'll make new memories, Arya. Somewhere else. Together. Just like a family. Guys, I just got a message. It's a video clip from the mall. Look at this, folks. Yasmin, the supposed darling of the people, splurging on designer goods while her family supposedly faces financial ruin. This is a betrayal of trust, a slap in the face to all those who generously donated to help her family. Shame on you, Yasmin. Oh no, Yasmin. This, this changes everything. I can't believe she would do something like this. We need to talk to Yasmin now. Well, well, what do we have here? Selling the mansion without me, are we? Yasmin, this is not the time for your games. We need to talk. Oh, relax, Dad. I'm here to rescue you from all of this mess. I'll take you to my mansion. It's much better than this old place anyway. Yasmin, how could you be so insensitive? We're losing our home and all you can think about is your own comfort? Oh, come on, Mom. It's not like you've never moved houses before. Besides, my mansion has a pool and a movie theater. You'll love it. Oh, look what we have here, Yasmin. Seems like someone's been caught red-handed. I... I can't explain. It's not what you think. No more excuses, Yasmin. You've crossed the line this time. Now get out of here. Ugh, whatever. Why do I even care? 
sure. It's not like I caused this mess. What the heck? What just happened here? Oh, come on, not now. Uh, great, just great. Now I'm stuck on the side of the road like some commoner. Why does everything bad always happen to me? Uh, I hate everything! Please, can someone help me? My car broke down and I don't know what to do! Why does everyone hate me so much? <sighs> if only I hadn't lost my phone. Excuse me, sir. Can you help me? What seems to be the trouble, miss? It... It's my car. It's broken, and... I'm now in the middle of nowhere, and... Nobody wants to help me. Well, let me help you with it. Do you know how to fix this car? You sure you won't steal anything? You can trust me, ma'am. If you don't want me to, I could always leave. N no! That's not what I meant! I mean... You can try. Sure. Thank you. I don't know how to repay you. I'll never take money from someone who lied about donations. You keep it, miss. You'll need it more than I do. Have a good night, ma'am. What have I done? <laughs> and that's when everything started getting better. Yes, Meaden realized the mistake she had made, and she had promised herself that no matter what, She'll always be there for her family.